Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series, The Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 2, we venture to the Underworld as we follow the nightly adventures of Tarnum, the immortal hero. Alrighty folks, we are back with the fourth and potentially final part of this Conquest of the Underworld campaign. Scenario 7, The Queen's Command. Tarnum must defeat all of his enemies. Tarnum and Queen Allison must not be killed. All heroes will be limited to level 32, but Tarnum will transfer over to the next scenario. I'm gonna go with Endless Bag of Gold, let's do this. With his vision restored by the Pendant of Second Sight, Duke Dieselisk went out of his way to help Queen Allison rescue her father's soul. He gave her the use of his own troops in order to speed her progress and offered up Jorm's life in thanks for her gift. She accepted, despite Tarnum's warnings. Building a castle is a lengthy process and Griffinheart has suffered enough, so Dieselisk provided Allison one of his Inferno Towns to quickly gain access to Jorm. I have some reservations about further dealing with these demons, especially now that we're going to be fighting alongside them. But Queen Allison is happy with the arrangement, and since she joined me I have passed most of the leadership over to her. I still keep a close eye on her, but I want the men to see her leading them into battle. It's been a long time since any of us have seen the daylight, so we need all the morale we can get. Okay, this is a small map, and she's level 3. Ha! Ah. I like how she's got literally Queen Catherine's uh, portrait. If ever there was any doubt that they were related. No more. Right. Ooh, Armour of Wonders right there. I did pick up Sands of the Saint, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Good. So long ago, I can't even remember. Um. Alright, so who's this? This is Alison. Gonna have her in my base. I don't think I need troops this mission. I think we're so powerful at this point that we can just roll through anything. The heroes are kind of just in my way, <laughs> honestly. All right, let's get Armor of Wonder. Sure. A gang of rogues is sifting through the possessions of dead warriors. Scaring off the scavengers, you note the rogues have overlooked a dirty but serviceable breastplate. You possess all the components needed to assemble the Angelic Alliance. Do you wish to assemble the artifact? Yes, yes I do. For a bit of gold, I'll tell you what is beyond the gate. Information is always good as you pay the little man's fee. There is treasure untold here. It could well be worth your effort to fight the demons for it. If you have the means, that is. If I have the means. <laughs> Do you have any idea who he's speaking to, brother? Yeah, that's Wow, that's a big garrison. Why would Archangel... Mm. Do you know what? Whatever. We we've got an ally? Okay. What? Wait, what? I did, okay. A blistering land reeking of sulfur is a poor place for ceremonies, but in front of everyone I knighted Queen Alison's day. She was surprised when I asked her to drop to one knee and take the oath to Arathia. Tears collected in her eyes. When she stood, I gave her my own sword and said, It's a strong blade, my queen and has served me well for more years than I can remember. I thank you dearly, Sir Tarnum. I turned her towards the crowd and shouted, Three cheers for our new knight, for your queen, Alison Griffinhart. She has earned her name, as well as her sword. Yeah. Wow, that's literally all that's there. 
I don't really understand why we've got loads of allies. How many enemies are in this? It's three, eight, three versus two. How do you even fit five people on this map? Six people on this map. No, it's five. I was right. <laughs> oh yeah, we got one. Oh shit. That might actually might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, let me have a think about this. What could I use here? Um, let's start with Maslow. Can't believe I don't have chain lightning. Okay, well, just what it is. Nah, we got this. Easy, bruv. Magic broken. Actually, that is pretty good treasure, to be fair. Take that back. Um, all right, Citadel Castle, the old gubbins. Okay, we need a red key master's tent. Probably through that other portal. Okay, there's an enemy in the underground. Be free. So at least wait a turn for that. It's four, isn't it? Four units. Oh, I'm expecting gold, but uh, never mind. A group of imps have defected from the other side to join forces with us. Either they've heard that Duke Desilisk supports us, or they're intrigued by a leader who is not some cruel demon. However, they aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. We must pay for their recruitment. Hopefully more of these little defections will occur. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've seen. Wait, what? Oh my god, imps out move he <laughs> free now, okay. Sure, why not? Damage is absolutely outrageous. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, well that's pointless. So we just have to break through here. The only thing I'm really concerned about is Archangel. 
I'm even that concerned. I mean, I could probably just get there. thinking this is going to be a very quick and easy mission. Especially if enemies like that join us, that'd be amazing. Wow, 1100 damage? Excuse me? <laughs> it's so stupid. So yeah, let's get rid of the familiars. Devils now, boy. Made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. This is such a weird mission. Please join me, that'd be nuts. Eh. God. Well, the stats are... Uh, okay, so Jorm is orange. He's an 1196. I mean, at least he's got some stats on him. I mean, yeah. Weak as... Oh, he's got Arch Devils. Okay. Now we're about to hit... Uh, the next week. Which is certainly not ideal. No way. Without spells, that's how... Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. What am I even doing? I can just literally use the... Uh, the list to kill them. Jesus Christ. Wow. Hello, dear. I get the feeling this is going to take no more than... 10 minutes. <laughs> Mensor, one of the few companions who accompanied me to this level, has been trying to find out where Jorm is located. I've learned that he doesn't trust Truk, Chuk Desilisk any more than I do, but there isn't much we can do about it. Down here, we just don't have the access to materials or men to support ourselves, 
And we need troops if we're going to defeat Jorm. Okay, base is there. Oh, they don't even have a castle. Shocking. Okay, there's red. I need to get the pur I got the purple border guard. Okay. Can I teleport to allies' towns? Oh my god, I can. Okay. That's hilarious. Roland? What the f Hello? <laughs> what? Why would I be able to build... Do you know what? I don't even question things anymore. We've seen Armageddon's Blade. We've seen all sorts throughout this campaign. Um, well, I say this campaign. Chronicles campaign. I should, I should be clear. So if we get you down to... What is this? Blackburn... Oh, oh my god, is that the makings of Armageddon's Blade? No, shut the front door. That looks a lot like the four artifacts you need for Armageddon's Blade, which would be hilarious. Beyond any reason. It is, isn't it? Hellfire, Damned, a Helmet. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, interesting. That's where that takes them out. I'll need a bit of gold to jog my memory, dear sir. After all, a man can't think if he doesn't have the money to buy food for himself. You sigh and hand over a small sack of gold. Ah, now my mind is clearing. You'll find Jorm beyond yonder gate. It's the only way. Okay, good to know. Fiona's traps. <laughs> Jesus. Do you want to move this army onto there? Actually, you know what? We should. We should go to... Oh, what's the name of my base? Cinderspire. anything else on this army that I needed to upgrade? No. Okay, so then let's go Firebrand. The army to Roland. Go to you. Lovely Javli. The train is working as intended.
Okay, it's not enough for Armageddon's Blade. I'll take that back. So that's not how you get to me, boy. I lied. How do we get there? There's got to be a gate down here or something. I just find this whole thing weird of having out. Why do we have allies? It just seems pointless. Ooh, that was close. A firebrand, I believe. The purple's out. <laughs> wow. Jorm is yet to make an appearance. His minions, however, have been punishing us every chance they get. Yet, we've been able to handle everything they've thrown at us so far. So, why do I have this uneasy feeling in the pit of my stomach? Where's the old, um... That. Okay, we've got the biggest army. So, yeah. I think we're golden. Okay. I'm starting to run out of ideas. Oh, unless that goes to more than one location. I hadn't even considered that. Okay, then I am kind of running out of ideas. Cinderspire. There's only one place on the map we haven't actually visited, so... I'd have to assume... I'm truly out of ideas. Mission objective? Defeat all of his enemies. Okay. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I didn't even see that. I did see it earlier. Even talked about it and forgot about it. Right. Okay. Ugh. What a Muppet I am, eh? Queen Alison and I had dinner last night. We talked about her experiences and about her performance as commander of this army. 
These demons aren't easy to control, and yet you're doing an excellent job. I think now it is true. You really don't need me. No, she said. You are my confidence, Sartanum. I feel a bond with you. Always have. Don't ask me to explain it. I know it sounds crazy. It's as if you were the brother I never had. Or something like that. Yes, I know what you mean. When we leave the underworld and return to Arathia, I'm going to make you my personal protector, Tarnum. I always want you by my side. Promise me you'll stay. I stared back at my niece and restrained my own emotions. Then I promised her even though I knew I couldn't keep my word. I'm not going to get there in time, so let's just... Have ourselves the next army. Allison. Another devil. I'm to deal with the devil, Jimmy. I wonder if we can upgrade to arch devils. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Hold it though. Wow. Oh, I haven't got enough mercury is the problem. Still no mercury. Yep, that should right about do it. Okay, biggest army, best stats. Should be easy as pie. Blue sent you a gift. Oh, thanks. How very kind of you. What lad? Green sends you a gift. Oh, thank you. As you rein in your horse, a guard steps up to you. Welcome. I have received word of your arrival. Do you wish to pass? I most certainly do. All right, let's wait until next turn and then let's, uh, let's kick their arse. To be sure, to be sure. The guards here say that they will have orders to let only Tarnum pass. Concerned, I am not. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's just go all in, I mean, what does it matter? Man, prayer really is kind of absurd. Thirty-six damage. Woof. Congratulations, you've completed your quest to defeat the enemy hero, Jorm. Victory is yours. Rank 7. Alrighty folks, this is the final scenario of this campaign. Never deal with a demon. Tarnum must defeat Desisk and all of his allies in order to rescue Queen Allison. Christ, look how many enemies there are. <laughs> 
Uh, we're going to go with Griffins. Let's do this. Never trust a demon. Tarnum knew this, but he still fell into Dieselisk's trap. If he had been mortal, his story would have ended here. But Tarnum returned. This time, nothing was going to stop him from saving his only blood kin, Queen Allison, from the torture chambers of the Duke of the Underworld. Hot damn. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. Treachery. What makes it worse is I suspected it all along, and I still fell into Dieselist's trap. I mourn the loss of my captains, all killed by the demon troops they commanded in our rescue of Rion Griffinheart's soul. At least I was able to save his soul from Jorm's clutches. Who knows what happened to Mensor? Probably dead as well. What bothers me most is Allison's capture. I never should have let her agree to command Dieselist's demon army in our battle against Jorm. They turned on her when I was distracted with Jorm and spirited her away to Dieselisk. I should have realised earlier that Jorm was never powerful enough to control so many demons in the underworld. All our troubles, all our endless battles in this dark land must have been carefully orchestrated by Duke Dieselisk himself. I was attacked too, but the demons didn't realise I was immortal. I managed to slip away after they believed I was dead, and I returned to a castle in one of the upper levels. With a small force, we've tracked the force that kidnapped Allison to this hidden lair of the underworld and managed to build a small castle in one of its empty caverns. And I've sworn as both a barbarian and a knight that Dieselisk will pay. Wow. Got some interesting heroes. Who actually outrank me, which is even funnier. Okay. Sure, I guess. For a generation your people have lived in these dark tunnels, but you hear rumours filtering in from the underworld. The demons are in danger. Finally, someone has entered this cursed land, and you even hear a name whispered by the imps. Tarnum, they curse. He's the scourge on all us demons, and it's that blasted dieselisk you brought him here. This Tarnum sounds like someone you'd like to meet. You see many thatched huts ahead, a town in the middle of this darkness. Nearby pale peasants tend their sparse gardens. What are they doing down here? Your question is soon answered. Greetings, sir, says one of the peasants. Hope things are well with you. We haven't seen a human in more years than I can recall, but we knew someone would come and find us one day. How did you get here? Well, we're prisoners, actually. At least my papa was. Long ago, the demon sent us into this remote cave to mine for gold. When all the resources were mined out, they just left us down here to rot. The joke's on them, though. We've managed to survive all these years. You can see the peasants have encouraged a few bits of shrub and flowers to grow here. There is even a large, wonderful tree in the centre of the town. Altogether, their efforts are commendable. Maybe you can recruit them. Okay, so we just need five Gs. a medium sized map with an underground yeah that kind of feels like a bad play I'm gonna wait until I get some money for city hall Not having my captains for the final mission seems to be a uh, recurring theme now. Instead we get replaced with two, well... I would say better heroes, but they're actually not. <laughs> okay, I take that back. This guy's got... What the hell? What? Why is this guy so powerful? And she's got nothing. Okay. That's kind of outrageous, but sure. I don't even know why I question these things anymore. <laughs> uh, it's just... Wow. 
Wait, does he have Town Portal? No, he doesn't. Okay. I threw back the flap to my tent and froze. Standing there, a shimmering transparent image was the soul of Rion Griffinheart, looking much stronger than when I rescued him. Saying nothing, I entered and closed the flap behind me. You're here to help, said Griffinheart. His voice was barely a whisper. I can see that. The past, as far as I'm concerned, is forgotten. For me as well, I hold no grudge, I said, surprising myself because I truly meant it. I beg you to help Alison. Diesel is just tormenting her to get to me. He knows I won't leave as long as Alison is in danger, but neither is there anything I could do to help her. To get at you, I said. Why does Dieselisk hate you so much? Because he tried to take over Arathia and failed. A long story. To put it simply, I defeated his troops and blinded him and sent him back to the underworld. Okay, so we need... Grab one more person, just so I can grab some more. Some else I didn't grab any earlier. Which money am I getting? Turn 3,000. Okay, yeah, we can do that then. I can't believe it, but Mensor is alive. One of the scouts spotted him in a prison not too far from here, but he couldn't rescue Mensor because a guard power post blocks access to the jail. A rescue mission must be arranged, and quickly before these demons puts another one of my friends to death. Well... Uh, do we get Monastery? I guess we do. Our master has said not to let anyone pass. You do not scare us. We will fight you to the very last. I love just how little stuff they do now. It's just so ridiculous. Just because of how strong our hero is. <laughs> Madness. I imp so. Ah, Sandro. Keep popping up, my boy. Nah. Rion Griffinheart returned last night with tears in his eyes. It must take a great pain indeed to bring such sorrow to a ghost. I can't stand it anymore, Tarnum. She's in such pain and all because of me. She's my daughter and I can do nothing, Griffinheart said. She's strong, Griffinheart. Stronger than you think. Just stay at her side. Give her your strength. I'll make Dieselis pay for every day he touched her, I said. My words seemed to give Griffinheart some courage even smiles. I recognise that tone, Tarnum. When you want to be, you can be quite vindictive, can't you? Yes. Dieselisk has no idea how dangerous my anger can be, but soon he'll learn. So I think I have a plan here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to open up the passageway. 
I go to kill Dare? And I think... What we'll do is... We'll send Tarnum up here, here, and then we'll send Norvan up north with the full army. Keep her down here just to carry on grabbing the troops. And if nothing else, if he nearly captures a base, at least then I can teleport to it. want at least let's wait one more turn upgrade these bad boys there we go Mouse attempt. There's also a quest guard and a base. Did we pick up the black thing? We did. Oh man, I really need to save up for money. Jesus. Okay, well, let's check out what's over here. At first you think it's an abandoned prison, but then you spot a man behind one of the barred windows. Although he's covered in filth, you still recognise your friend Mensor. Deaseless lied to us, Mensor shouts. He plans to kidnap Queen Allison. I have managed to befriend the troops trapped in this dungeon, and we've concealed a few items as well. He pauses for a moment and then roars, Let us out of here so I can lop that treacherous demon's head off. You hurry forward to see Free Mensor and his companions. He just happens to look like King Roland. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Wow. Yeah, I was got no one joking about the items. Jesus. Well then. Does he have any spells? Chain lightning and haste. Okay. So maybe we have you defend then. Wow, his movement. Too bad I just blocked them. That movement is ridiculous. Is that because he's got logistics and pathfinding? And obviously the equestrian's gloves and boots to speed and all those gubbins. There's a base here, fantastic. Not much defense, so it should be easy as pie. Wow, didn't lose anything. Incredible. Without spells as well. Oh, hello. So does that mean this guy can, oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, all right. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be one of these games, boys. Feels like a cakewalk of a game. Where are you going, buddy? Rude. Oh, okay, so now we meet up. Interesting. So we need red Keymaster's tent.
Nah. This chain lightning, there it is. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Wow. That's pretty funny. Oh, shoot. Okay. How many? Oh, so many enemies. My nights are raw with nightmares, but not the ones the underworld sometimes causes. These are my own fears as I imagine my niece, Alison, in the cruel hands of that demon. Last night I woke to find Griffinheart sitting by my bedroll. He looked haunted and weak. I've discovered that I'm able to protect Alison from some of the pain at least, but I'm on Diesel's ground. He's powerful down here. He knew I would try this. I realise that now. What do you mean? I said. He was making little sense. I was the bait, Tarnum, Griffinheart said. Deaseless ordered Jorm to kidnap me from paradise so he could lure Allison down here. Allison's dream wasn't my cry for help. That was the work of Deaselisk. He knew if he tortured Allison I would join with her soul to protect her, and then he'd finally be able to destroy me. Then he manipulated us from the beginning. Yes, and he's winning. I don't know how much longer I can last. When my soul becomes too weak, it will fade into nothingness and then Alison will be alone with that cursed demon. I reach out to place a comforting hand on Griffinheart's shoulder before I remember that he is no more solid than a soft breeze. There is one thing Dieselist didn't plan on. What? Griffinheart said. Me. Me and my ridiculously powerful heroes, apparently. Okay, we need to go back. What's stopping me from getting that a blacksmith? Uh, that's a long way to go. I think maybe we'll go right instead of left. Buddy. Much money raking in seven G's. Okay. It's not bad, not bad at all. Turn that seven into an eight. There's a castle in the middle. Oh, there's a base there. I see. Okay, let's get an army with him and then we can deal with that. Red. I don't think I've got the red key mouse attempt. Loads of heroes, okay. 
Oh, she's a dead. Okay, well, there's a base up there, clearly. Can he deal with that? Seven thirty-two. Maybe. Oof. Jesus, they do damage. Probably just there's just so many of them. No, that was a mistake. That's why that was a mistake. Never mind. Oh, that was the end of the road. Ah, I used the wrong person to teleport. Typical. Um. Okay, let's go to the demon gate. Deal with that. That base gone. A cave in buried some of our supply wagons. It took some time to clear the tunnels for passage, but all that was found was the splintered wagons and dead drivers. It was probably the work of Desilisk. that up there. Oh, it doesn't. It goes down here. Right, I see. Okay, let's go Demon Gate. Change of plans. Let's have you deal with this guy.
Man, you need to. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Fancy not even having a castle or a citadel, even. Wait, do I not have Angelic Alliance? I thought I had the Angelic Alliance on me. Am I missing something? I do have the Angelic Alliance, what the hell? Okay, try that now, see if that works. That was weird. got the most amount of mana, that's the only problem. Why is all their stats just so weak? I don't get it. I noticed this throughout the Chronicle series that all of the enemy stats seem really really low. sure one's going to come through there. Uh, actually, this guy can probably catch up. It's pretty quick. Okay, that's purple gone. Uh, once again, we've... Oh, uh, we can No, we can't. Okay. Let's see what that requirement is. Need to find this red tent. Blue's gone. Well, we're in the 50s in stats now, boys. Green we do have. Ah, teleporter. Ah, it's red. Perfect. Oh, this is Sandro. We've got to fight our boy. Our 2-2 two, two bloody Sandro. Because reasons. Okay, well, Lisa Angelic Alliance is working as it should do now. Oh, <laughs> it's so stupid! Oh, get wrecked. Uh, level thirty. Ah. I like how these new guys are higher level than my main. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but okay. Now, click on it. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. I guess. 
That is hilarious. Mensor's interrogation of the captured demons has turned up very little information about Diesel's whereabouts. Our prisoners are more afraid of the demon duke than my captain of information. If I still had the taste for torture, I would interrogate them myself and show them who really, who they should really fear. But those days are gone, thankfully. All we've been able to determine is that Diesel's secret manor lies somewhere behind the subterranean gate. Does it now? Wild. Now, I think we dealt with all the surface ones bar pink. We know where they are and they're stuck behind a red gate. Uh, let's grab this. Let's go to the demon gate. Time to end this. Let's go to the broken base. One that has legit everything already built. Because reasons. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, what an easy ass campaign this has turned out to be. There's like one mission I didn't like, other than that, it's been pretty straightforward, to be honest. And that was the one before this one. <laughs> ah, someone's coming from there, I see. That's actually a pretty big army. Okay, let's get you to deal with that then. Go to Cold Soul. Oh shit, wrong person. Ha! <laughs> Oops. You go to Cold Soul. Can you deal with this person? My bad. These heroes kind of need to sit in a base somewhere. This was a lot closer than I thought it was. <laughs> Amazing. And now I just need to find the entrance to the subterranean gate, wherever that may be. Today I remembered that the Antus has sent me on this mission to save Griffin Heart's soul. It's been so long and I've become so involved that I've accepted this mission as my own. So what do they want me to learn? 
that vengeance gets you nowhere? That is obvious. My blind vengeance against the Bracadoon wizards only disgraced me into my present state as the immortal hero. Alison's drive for vengeance against Jorm led her into a trap that she should have seen coming, and I swear I'm going to make Deaselis suffer for his attempt to gain revenge for the loss of his sight. Right, where's the subterranean gate then, boys? That's what we need to find. Probably up there. Like this map kind of spirals inwards, so that would be my guess. The guards here say anyone with a red flag, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do those boys. We're at disadvantage because why not? Is this finally a hero that has some good stats? They're actually pretty good. The stats are very good, in fact. Hmm. To armor of the damned? <laughs> okay. Wow, rude. Wow. Okay. Back at you in that regard. My stats are still busted though, so let's see how this plays out. I've got Resurrect, remember. You've got Rare Armageddon's Blade as well. Oh boy. Now things are getting interesting. I did that. My bad. limits on how much I can resurrect. I think we just keep resurrecting the Archangels though. And the Archangels can also um, resurrect themselves which is worth considering. And he can only cast Armageddon two more times. Yeah, I think that's the play. We need to give ourselves a second um, unit to survive. Okay, I think we're these are diminishing returns now where this is just no longer working for him. Oh, he's changed his tactics. Okay. That works great for me. This has actually been a fun fight, finally! Thank you. Thank you for giving me a good fight. This was actually genuinely fun. Shame he's run out of mana, to be fair. So I was enjoying that fight. But at last, now he's out of mana. It's just, yeah, easy, easy game, bruv. Easy game, easy life, and all that jazz. GG's, boys. GG's. That was pretty close. Came down to the wire. That's what, that's what I like in my Heroes games, man. I like the challenge. Don't make it just easy for me. Congratulations, you've completed your quest to defeat the enemy hero, Dieselisk. Victory is yours. Conk 8. On the crisp winter morning, 
when Tarnum was to be named the Queen's protector. Allison searched the castle for the man who had saved her father's soul. He was missing, and resting on his bed was his freshly polished armor. The knight who conquered the underworld was never seen again. Ooh, we didn't get over 2,000. Damn. Impressive. <laughs> Black Dragon, now I'll take that. Alrighty folks, well that'll right about do it for this campaign. This was Conquest of the Underworld, which was Chapter 2 of the Chronicle series. Um, there are eight in total, so there's still six more to go, which we'll be following back to back. Um, and anywho, thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.